Hello and welcome to this new lecture dedicated to the mixer. So let me open the mixer window by pressing F3 and here we have the mixer. As you can see we have several channels here. The red channels are the input and output channels. Basically the stereo in and stereo out passes because if I press F4 to recall the audio connection window as you can see we have the input bus, also known as the stereo in, and the output bus, also known as the stereo out bus. OK, let me close the audio connection window and now let's enable the left zone by pressing here. As you can see, we have several tabs. We have the visibility tab, the history tab, and the snapshot tab. The visibility tab allows me to specify what to see on the mixer. For example, I can show or hide specific channels. Remember that this does not affect the audio, but only the mixer layout, okay? This icon tells us that we are talking about audio channels, as till now we have only worked with audio channels, but we will see different channels uh, later on during this course. On the Zones tab right here below, I can decide to lock the channels to the left or to the right zone of the mixer window. For example, I can lock the stereo output to the right zone and even if I scroll the mixer from left to right, the stereo channel will be locked and always visible on the right zone of the mixer. Now, in the History tab, as we have already seen in the History window, if I do some edits on the mixer, I can undo them but I can also do the same with the undo redo buttons right here. Finally, from the snapshot tab, I can store and recall mixer snapshot very quickly. For example, if I take a snapshot from this button, you can see it has been stored here. Let me do a variation now and I'm gonna save another snapshot so that here we have the second snapshot. Again, some other variations and another snapshot. So from the snapshot tab, now by pressing the recall snapshot button or from the drop down menu right here, I can recall the first snapshot. the second one, and so on and so forth. Going ahead from this button, I can search for a track by typing in its name, for example, clap. And I can select it directly from the result list like this. Okay, now let me close the left zone. And from the setup window layout here on the right hand side of the mixer, let's enable the channel Rex. Here we have all the Rex. And from this menu, we can decide what to show on the mixer. For example, we can also enable the meter bridge here. And this is my preferred configuration. And from this menu, I can show the routing, the inserts, the equalizers, channel strips, and the sand tabs. We will of course have a closer look at everything later on during this course, so don't worry. Now from the channel visibility agent, I can also decide which kind of tracks I want to see in my mixer, for example. Let me disable the input and the output channels like this. 
we can save this configuration with the name, for example, no buses. Now, just to demonstrate you, I can hide all the audio tracks and save again another configuration, for example, no audio, like this. And similar to the snapshot, I can recall the configurations very quickly from here, always in the Channel Visibility Agent drop-down menu. From the Set Channel Visibility Agent, we can decide to show all channels, only selected channels, and so on. Then we have the general states where we can deactivate all the mute states, solo states, all the listen, the read and write automation states. The same goes for the inserts, equalizers, channel strips, and the sends. We can disable everything very quickly from this toolbar. By the way, the mixer toolbar can be customized, as we have already seen, by recalling the context menu like this. Going ahead, here we can decide to link several channels at once, and we can also specify the parameter or parameters we want to link between channels. For example, here we have the VCA fader, that is a new future since Cubase 8 the volume, pan, EQ, and so on. OK, let me close the link group settings. And from here, we can quick link the selected channels without the need to establish a permanent link like seen before. So let me, for example, select a couple of channels right now. If I quick link them and I move one fader, you can see that they are moving all together. By the way, they are moving, respecting the relationship they have each other. This is a function I often use when I want to turn down the overall volume of the song. I can simply select all the channels and quick link them, move down the faders while maintaining the relationship between all these channels in the song. Going ahead while maintaining active the quick link, if I press the absolute value, I will force all the linked channels to have the same value for a certain parameter. You can edit from one channel and reflect the same value to all the channels at once. While if I use the suspend function, I can freely edit what I need on a mixer parameter without affecting all the linked channels like this. We can also expand and shrink the width of the mixer channels. And we can also do it on rack level. So, for example, let me expand the Insert tab. We can expand and shrink the height of the rack itself. And from this menu, we can access all the mixer functions. We will have a closer look later on during this course. And as already seen from the Rack Types menu, we can specify what to show or hide on the racks. Now, on the mixer, we can also enable the right zone where I can access the control room functions and a meter. From the control room tab, we can, for example, set up a talkback. If you remember the same thing when we talk about the audio connection, the F4 shortcut, do you remember? Or if I have more than a couple of speakers, I can enable another master bus and other particular things that we will not treat during this course. Going ahead, we can also access a meter that will indicate to us the overall volume of our song. Let me now close the right window for a while and the mixer as well, because 
since one of the latest Cubase versions, it's possible to have the mixer even in the lower zone here on the display window. You just need to enable it right here. And from the Mix Console tab right here, we can decide what to show. But as you can see, we have fewer functions available here. So I prefer to recall the complete mixer window or even better, if you have a second monitor, you can leave the mixer open there. Okay, we have seen really a lot of things, right? So that's all for now. Time to move on to the next lecture. See you there.